we even as black women have to be able to look at our biases right. that keep right. us from being able to kind of bridge right. the gap. Can we bring Jane out? Is Jane here? For 50 years, Jane Elliott has been raging against racism. I want every white person in this room who would be happy to receive the same treatment that our black citizens do in this society, please stand. Nobody's standing here. That says very plainly that you know what's happening. You know you don't want it for you. I want to know why you're so willing to accept it or to allow it to happen for others. Jane was thrust into the national spotlight in 1968 with her revolutionary blue eyes, brown eyes exercise. She separated her third grade students based on the color of their eyes, giving preferential treatment to one group over the other to teach them what discrimination feels like. And the blue-eyed people are the better people in this room. What happened, John? Russell called me names and I hit him. Hit him in the gut. What's wrong with being called brown eyes? Oh, that's just the same yeah. way as other people call uh, black people niggers. That's the reason you hit him, John? I watched what had been marvelous, thoughtful children turn into nasty discriminating little third graders. The experiment was extremely controversial and a landmark moment in the study of race relations. What I do looks brutal to white people because that isn't something they have to live with all day every day. Her no holds barred approach forces all of us to confront our own biases. Come on over here and sit. Hi, Jane. Hi, Jane. Hi, Jane. Hi, Hi, so pleased to meet you. What Hi. do you mean you don't know about being black? Can you read? Yes, ma'am, I can read. Then why aren't you? Can I, can I say one thing? This is absolutely fair because I saw a tattoo the other day that said, ignorance is a choice. And I said to myself, you know what? That's true. I am choosing to be ignorant. And you are right. I should be doing more homework. Quit shooting on a shelf. It doesn't okay. matter what you should do. What matters is what are you going to do? Yes, ma'am. Well, first of all, let me just say thank you for all the work that you yes. do. You've been doing this a long time. So what do you think we need to do? We need to stop believing the myth. In yeah. this country, right. what we call education is actually indoctrination. Hmm. And it takes That's... us from the ages of 5 to the age of 18 to thoroughly indoctrinate people so that they will believe in the myth of white superiority, and mm. it is a myth. Right. Now, you can't do that while you're teaching that Columbus discovered America. Right. Mm -hmm. There were black people on this continent 4,000 years before Columbus was born. Right. We teach black history in the schools as if it started with slavery. I'm not a white woman. I'm a faded black person. My people move far from the equator, mm -hmm. and that's the mm -hmm. only reason my skin is lighter. That's all any white person is, because wow. we are, are great. Hey. There's no such thing as race. No, there's no such thing as race. There's one race. There's one race. The human race. And then right. you all came from the same black women 300,000 to 500,000 years ago. The human race began with black women. My cousins, and you are all my cousins. Make no mistake about this. We are all 30th to 50th cousins because we all have the same black great, 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 great grandmother back there 300,000 300, to 500,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. So get over the idea that you are white. There's one race. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the human race. The human, human race. race. One race. Now, will every person in this group who's biracial please stand? Biracial. Well, stand. I told you there's only one race. Oh, <laughs> And you, you too. How dare you? Didn't you listen to anything I said? <laughs> we were listening. It, it just takes a minute, Jane. Let me ask you this. How long do you think the idea of race has been around? Since, since, since the beginning of the time? That's just what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> and you are just as wrong as you can be. I was going to say since around the 1400s. Right. It started with oh, the, wow. Spanish, the Spanish Inquisition. Inquisition. Before yeah. that, race was the not Spanish a problem, but they, they would be found out that they were killing people who were of their religious belief, but they couldn't tell what their religion was by looking at them. So they had to find another way to identify those they were going to kill, so they set upon skin color. We have also been 
indoctrinated with the myth of right. white superiority. We've got pictures of the baby Jesus who looks like the little Pillsbury Doughboy. Right. He didn't look like the Pillsbury Doughboy. That's true. And it says in the Bible that Jesus had kinky woolly hair and feet of bronze. Yep. Hmm. Here's what you can do. You can educate yourself. The schools won't do it. They won't. They don't they won't. want you to know the truth. They right. can't exactly. afford to have blacks know the truth. But what you would have to realize is within 30 years, white people will have become a numerical minority in the United States of America. Hmm. Now, blacks and people of other color groups have got to stop playing defense and start playing offense. I think that part of what the responsibility that we as a black community need to take on is educating ourselves and preparing ourselves oh, absolutely. for what's to come. Absolutely. You yes. need to educate yourself yes. and your children yes. before they go to school. Exactly. And when they come home from school spouting this crap that they've learned in school, absolutely. then you need to take them inside and say, here, look at this. Here's what really happened. Right. There's one race, the human race, the human and that's race. the only race. Oh, right. There yeah. are 2,500 different skin colors on the face of the earth. Right. If you can come up with 2,500 different names for races, you've got too much time on your hands. Right. You need to get a job. There's only one race on the face of the earth, the human race. Got it. So now turn to the person on your left or your right, stick out your hand and say, hello, cousin. Hello, cousin. Hello, cousin. Hello, cousin. That feels better. Yeah. Well, sure it does. Yeah. It yeah. feels better. Do you feel any different after hearing Jane. Right now? Yes. No. Hmm. I got so much work to do. Yeah.